Welcome back friends to another episode of US Banner and if you want to keep yourself updated about Red Dead Online and all Rockstar update then don't forget to subscribe the channel because I upload every day location for Madame Nazar, all the daily challenges, their location, how to do them and all Rockstar update videos. So first of all we are going to start with Madame Nazar location for today 16th October. And here is the location for Madame Nazar, you can find her beside the armadillo you can first travel to the armadillo and go to the twin rock and you can find her in this location lots of people comment that you cannot find her in your map you actually cannot find her in your map until you go very close to her so don't worry go in this location you will find her over here after that you have to do 22 daily challenges start with seven general daily challenges first one you have to do finish a showdown in showdown series and let me show you guys how to start this one go to your quick join option and then here is the first four option which is the takeover shootout feature series and elimination series this four is the showdown series you have to go over there and then you have to complete that so make sure you playing that from the first to last sometime people tell me that you are playing that but you cannot get that count because if you play any showdown from the middle of that it doesn't count after that you have to do 20 number enemies looted for this one go to any freedom missions or go for any free room uh, not the freedom mission yeah you can go for the freedom missions and you can go for the bounty missions so go for any bounty mission bounty mission is the good because in the bounty mission you have lots of stuff in their pocket if you load them so you have to load 20 of them after that you have to do three player kill with a pistol in freedom event so you have to go for the freedom event and kill players over there with the pistol three of them and here is the schedule for freedom event in red dead online based on new york time you can adjust that with your own time and here is the freedom event for roles after that you have to plug two seagulls and here is the location for seagulls in red dead online so go in this location and try to kill these seagulls with a varmint rifle and then plug them but best location for this seagull is beside the van horn go to van horn and you can try to find them over there in daytime don't go any of this location at the night time you cannot find them you have to go over there at the daytime and then you have to visit a shop in valentine just go to any shop in valentine and visit that it can be any shop just stand front of the butcher table it will be done after that you have to do visit kachora spring and let me show you guys where is this kachora spring in Red Dead online so friends here is our kachora spring and first travel to the webchi indian reservation and you can go in this location over here just visit this location and it will count after that you have to clean your weapons by gunwell for three time just clean any of your weapon for three time with the gun well it will be count and therefore the roll daily challenges first one you have to do for the bounty hunter bounty hunt complete when you have minimum five minutes or more left on your hand so make sure you complete a bounty mission when you have minimum five minutes left on your hand and then you have to do three bounty target brought in you can just go to any bounty poster and take them to the law three of them for this one and then you have to do three bounty target lasso from the horseback so make sure you lasso your bounty target when you are sitting on your horse after that for the trader you have to do 20 carcass donate to the crypts within 10 minutes for this one i prefer two different location first location is beside the van horn you can first go to the van horn and you can go to the elysian pool and over here you will see a waterfall and walk through the waterfall you will go inside a cave and in that cave you can find lots of reds so you can go in this location at the daytime and every time you go over there you can find three to four reds 
come out and roam around for some times and then go again inside at the daytime and you will find some more reds and make them 20 of reds in your pocket and then go to crypts and donate them or there is another location but that is little hurt which is beside the park crossing go to the under the rail bridge and you can find some crow flying in this location or a small flower the smell <laughs> the small bird flying in this location and you have to kill this small bird and put them in your pocket until you have 20 of them and then go to the crypts and donate them after that three deadly predator carcass donate to the crypts carcass or skin for this one i prefer go for the alligators so here is the location for alligators in red dead online go in this location just first of all to the lagras and you can go in this location and just kill three alligator and take their skin to their crypts and donate them and then six large animal carcass donate to the crypts for this one i prefer box and deers so here is the location for bird uh, the box and deers go in this location and you can find lots of them but best location to find these animals is beside the little creek river in strawberry go to strawberry and go to the little creek river and you can find lots of like 50 of box and deers in this location just get six of them put them in your hunting wagon and take to the crypts you can just take five of them at the same time you can put another one on your horse after that for the collector and before talking about collector role challenges let me tell you guys today's collectible cycles so all the fossils is cycle 3 today after that all the american wildflower is cycle 6 today terracars is cycle 1 today after that the lost jewelry is cycle 6 today antique alcohol bottle is cycle 4 today bird eggs is cycle 4 today arrowheads is cycle 1 today after that the family heirlooms is cycle 2 today and coin is cycle 2 today and for the collector for collector you have to do antique alcohol bottle drink and let me show you guys where you can find the antique antique alcohol bottle in red dead online and here is the location for antique alcohol bottle in red dead online so go in this location before 12 a.m of the global time and you can find this antique alcohol bottle in this location just collect one of them and drink that after that you have to do two collectible found with the metal detector for this one i prefer go for the coins because all time coins has to be found by metal detector and shovel and here's the location for coins in red dead online you can see this yellow coin location go over there before 12 am of the global time and you can find this coin in this location just make sure you have to go over there before 12 am of the global time because after 12 am you cannot find them in this location and make sure you have a metal detector and a shovel and then you have to do find three lost jewelry and here is the location for lost jewelry in red dead online go in this location as like before you have to go over there before 12 am of the global time and you have to find this lost jewelry in this location before 12 am of the global time for today 16th october after 12 am you cannot find them in this same location anymore and then for the moonshiner you have to do 4827 distant moonshine wagon trouble on a mission for this one it has to be a moonshine delivery and it will be a three or four moonshine delivery depending on the location and then you have to do two moonshine of the preferred type sold to a buyer for this one you have to just collect moonshine uh, order from the buyer and de deliver them two of them in same session don't change the session if you change the session it doesn't count after that you have to do four moonshine sharp to other player at a bar so go to any moonshine bar and serve the moonshine to other players for four time and it will count for the naturalist you have to do seven craft or 
cook in the wildness camp wildness camp you can purchase after level 10 in the naturalist role and you can set this camp in the anywhere in the grass beside the road and you have to cook over there for six item or just craft uh, seven item over there not six and then you have to do three desert animal sample taken and let me show you guys which is the desert animals so friends they are desert animals as like the desert iguanas banded gila monster the nine banded armadillo the pong box so you can just go in this location uh, in the new austin let me show you guys where you have to find them just go to new austin over here any of this location just first over to the tumbleweed or armadillo and any animal you see in this location in new austin they all are desert animals so just take samples from them after that you have to do two hardy tonic use when too cold or too hot for this one i prefer go to the tumbleweed and use a winter outfit and it you will feel hot then you have to use a hardy tonic or you can just first of all do the colder and just remove your cloth wear a hot weather cloth and you will feel so cold over there and it will be done if you drink a hardy tonics and hardy tonic you can purchase from the harriet and let me show you guys where you can find harriet here is the first location for the harriet beside the lagras you can first travel to the Legras and find her in this location. That is the best location. After that, you can find her beside the wall station. But that location is very hard to go because no first travel post. And the third location is beside the McFarlane Ranch. So you can go any of this location and purchase a hard tonic. And before talk about the goals, if this video helped you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. And if you do seven daily roll challenges done, you will get. Uh, if you do seven daily general challenges done you will get some extra gold for that and if you do nine daily roll challenges done you will get some extra gold for that and i'm getting for 1.5 for each of them so hopefully this video helped you out to do your daily challenges if this video helped you out don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you want to keep yourself updated about rated online and all rockstar update then don't forget to subscribe the channel see you guys in the next episode till then take yourself and stay happy